Hello, and welcome to the United for Math series on Units of Measure. In this lesson, students will learn how to tell and write time to the nearest minute. In our prior lesson, we looked at a clock and broke it down into five minute intervals and learned how to tell time using words like half past, quarter till, and quarter past. So now let's get a little more specific. We're going to look at our first clock to be able to tell that time and write that time to the nearest minute. Again, we have our shorthand, which will tell us our hour, and our longhand, which I'm going to label with our different color in minutes. Now I do notice that I don't have my five minute increments labeled, so I always want to go ahead and start with that. So we count by our fives again. 10, then 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and back to zero. All right, so let's start with our hour. I see that my short hand, my hour hand, is pointing to seven. So my hour is seven. Now let's look at my long minutes hand. I see that my long hand is in between my two and my three. So my minutes is going to be between the 10 minute and 15 minute mark. So from 10, I'm going to count to 15 using these smaller marks on my clock. So I have 11, 12, 13, 14. So I can see that my minutes hand is pointing to the 12 minute mark. So my time on this clock is 7, 12. So students are beginning to see that there's more in a clock than just those five minute intervals. So let's do one more practice problem where we will need to tell time to the nearest minute. So I see on this clock I have my short hand, which again represents the hour, and my long hand, which represents minutes. Now, again, we're going to go ahead and label each five minute increment just to help students recognize that this one here again is where our five minutes land. And we have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. It helps for students to, when they write these out, to say them at the same time. Then they'll get really used to knowing where they are on our clock. All right, so now let's look and see where does my hour hand point. And I'm noticing that it's not pointing directly to a number that it's between three and four o'clock. So here, I need to realize that it's not quite four o'clock. This time is going to be within the three hour because this shorthand hasn't hit the four yet. So my hour is three. Now let's look at our minutes. Again, this long hand is not pointing directly to one of my five minute increments. I do, I do see that it's between my 10, which represents 50 minutes, and the 11, which rep represents 55 minutes. So let's take a look at where my long hand goes to the nearest hour. So from 50, I'm going to label 51, 52, 53, 54. So I can see here that my minutes hand is at the 53 mark. So 3, 53 is my time. And if I want to look at this a little deeper, that's why my hour hand is almost to 4, because 3, 53 is really close to 4 o'clock. So remember, when telling time to the nearest minute, it helps to label a few things on our clocks. For one, label the hour and the minutes hand. The shorter hand is the hour and the longer hand is the minutes. And then I always recommend to go ahead and label those five minute increment marks. So then when we go to tell time to the nearest minute, we can dash our lines out to those five minute intervals and then label those numbers in between. 
We look forward to seeing you in our next lesson, where we will be problem solving time intervals using a number line. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Thank <music> you.